My name is Scott Ellis. I'm the hydro plant manager for Cloverland Electric Cooperative. We have a very diverse crew. Uh, we have welder, electrician, machinist, and then also uh, repairmen within the plant. Each position has its own specialty. Um, the repairmen are in charge of doing all the maintenance and repairs on all the turbines and generators within the plant, um, which consists of working in the water um, on the turbine side and then also inside on the plant floor working on the generators. How do repairmen, a uh, given week, uh, this time of year, uh, which is early fall, uh, we're just in the swing of overhaul season. So they're in the process of uh, tearing down a turbine and making all the repairs to that turbine that are necessary to make it operable again. Um, that would be this time of year. And then in the summer, we have boom repairs. Um, it's a variety of positions uh, and different jobs throughout the year. A lot of the challenges are, one would be climate, Two would be just um, working in different conditions. Uh, you go from working outside in the sun, then you're down in the hole in the water with your hip waders on. Um, every day is a different, uh, a different thing. So the biggest challenge I think would just be the diversification of what they have to deal with each day. Training for the repairman, it, it varies per hire. The way we have a, a hire around here is I look at, see what we need for the current position. So there's not a black and white model of what I'm looking for. It's just what we need at that time. So it needs to be a diverse person that has uh, a lot of background in a little bit of everything from uh, carpentry to plumbing to mechanical is a big one. Um, but the more diverse, the better. Our electrician, is in charge of maintaining all the electrical components of the plant. The electrician is a very special spot. Our electrician not only works on the high voltage stuff, he goes down to the low voltage stuff and also with programming on computers, uh, PLCs. So very diverse position and um, it's not just one style, it's multiple styles of electrical work. Our machinist makes all the parts uh, for the plant that we can't purchase, which is probably over half the amount of parts. Everything's custom, so everything needs to be built from scratch. Uh, the older generators and turbines um, take a lot of custom parts, so he's very busy doing that. The welder, same thing. Um, we're not just welding new products or new steel. Um, he's welding on old stuff uh, that was built in the 1900s, so it goes from brazing to uh, TIG welding, to MIG welding. He covers all of that. Plus, we also need a welder that has a very thorough background in fabrication. The hydro specialist, which would, would be the welder, machinist, uh, and electrician. The biggest challenge is for them would be the variety of different things that they have to decide how, how to make and how to figure out. So electrician, uh, it could be a different component uh, each day that's failing and have to figure out why that component's failing and come up for with a resolution for that. Um, the machinist, uh, the repairman will come up with a part and say, we need this designed, uh, can you build this? And same thing goes for the welder. They come up and say, we ran into this strange situation, can you fab up a jig to help us out resolve the issue? Weekly work, it's almost daily. Every time they walk in in the morning, it's going to be a different job. It's very rare that they have the same job, so uh, they have to think on their toes a lot, be prepared to uh, for a different task each day. You're working in a plant that was built in the 1900s, so uh, there's a lot of history behind that. Everyone that works here uh, treats, takes this place with all the, a lot of pride. It's like their house, it's well maintained. Uh, we have a very good group of guys here that take pride in their work and enjoy what they do. Once you get hired on at Cloverland as a machinist helper, um, you work for roughly two years as a machinist helper, then you upgrade into a repairman's position. Um, once you make that repairman's position, you work your way up through the repairman's ladder and you could possibly, if a specialty position opened up, right on that if you're qualified for that position. But most of the time you work your way up through the repairman and that's where you, you have your career at. 